Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk a little bit about the Mayo Clinic's journal. It's a very good uh, journal and it's very nicely done. There's a lot of art in it as well and a lot of good medical information. One of the things I talk about now is electronically extracting information from uh, electronic records. It's funny because electronic records around not, actually there's a lot of people who don't even use them still, but they're in every way important for the future. The really interesting thing for me is though, I've been trying to work with it for about 20 years and I didn't realize it till recently that actually they are not built in a way that we are supposed to extract things from it. It's only supposed to have your records, not everybody else's, how we'd intertwine and see how things act. I don't know how this is going to be taken care of, but in the future, clearly this is going to be very interesting. We have been going through our records, finding out how do we do in certain things like diabetes 1. Do we really get everything as though you don't have diabetes anymore after you've done two or three years with this kind of a GLP-1 agent that we're using now? And this is something that is startling. Nobody planned for this. We have had our electronic records for over 12 years and they still can't extract what we want. So we have to go through each one individually. It's a big deal. Somebody's probably going to find something out about it. It's going to be helpful, but it's not today. And even though we don't have the ease with which we'd like, we are still constantly showing we do better in diabetes care than almost everybody else around. So it may be a startling thing, but we're going through it. It's our time.